Those were the days, huh? I'll tell you something, Glenn. TV could use some more of those good old Western shows right now. That's for sure. People are hankering for them. Yeah. Ever seen anybody hanker for a cop show? They may watch them, but they don't hanker. Well, I'll drink to that. Hey, say, uh, Larry, give me a, a Kentucky bourbon whiskey, will you? Kentucky bourbon, you say? All right. My pleasure, sir. As it was the pleasure of my, my cousin, Colonel Rhett, Beauregard Yancey, Jefferson Davis, Culpepper, Jackson, Yazoo Lee. Did you know that my family has a distinguished military tradition? Yes, sir. For every war going back to the Revolution, the Red Beauregard Lees have provided at least, at least one deserter. Yeah, but where's Roy? Who cares about Roy? Nails. <laughs> well, you got me. You got a point there. <laughs> Hey, bartender, suppose you take care of my friends here, huh? All right, I'll have a little Irish whiskey. Ah, Irish whiskey, eh? A man after me own heart. To our wives and sweethearts, may they never meet. <laughs> That's old Larry. Right. Hey, how about you, Doug? You ever get hit like John Russell did in that last clip we saw there, you know? Wow, wow, that was something. Well, you fellas prove how tough it was being TV Western stars. And just to make it up to you and your buddies, the ladies have come up with a little tribute. When you see a fella go up to another guy and take a bottle and knock it over their head, that's harmless too, you know, because it's breakaway. It's a breakaway bottle. Larry, would you come here? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Oh, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's the wrong bottle. 